3, 3 p.m. Eastern every business day. We bring you 3 at 3. Today, it's three very interesting stocks, none of which did I cover on the Halftime Report. How about that? So, with no further ado, let's get into today's 3 at 3. There you see a 3 at 3 disclaimer, which says that this presentation is for educational and informational purposes only. Um, it is uh, basically educational, informational, full stop. Don't rely on this as information that you need as an investor because you need to speak to your investment professional about that. And that is not me. Intellectual property rights. Yes, we have intellectual property, folks. You're looking at much of it during this presentation. And before you use this, just ask us. We'll be happy to, as long as you cite market rebellion and so forth. But please, ask us before you use it. Today at 4 p.m. Eastern, we're going to bring in a friend of mine, Bill Fleckenstein. Um, he is from Fleckenstein Capital. Bill is uh, a noted short seller, but he's also much more than that, folks. You don't get to be in this business for decades by just being short. Obviously, you have to be right. And he has managed money for quite a while based in Seattle, so a lot of Pacific Northwest money um, in his coffers. And I think you'll be very uh, excited to hear what he has to say. You can hear it for free. All you have to do is register um, at Market Rebellion to get it for free, or you can wait till tomorrow and get it uh, the day after. Uh, still for free, but not as live. All right, let's get to it, folks. Geo, G-E-O. We saw call buying in this name. Uh, we saw it with the stock uh, trading for $10.70. And I'm pulling that up now uh, to see where my fills are. G-E-O, which is the Geo Group. It is now higher by better than, let's see, that would be 46 cents higher because trading $11.16 right now. So they were buying these calls for 24 cents to 60 cents, which means $24 to $60 because every option is 400 shares of stock. So that means that they are pretty aggressive in here looking for the stock to trade through 11 and they have been right. They've been right and they're profiting already from that. So gosh, bless them. Take a look at that. There it is with the stock. Uh, basically traded up to 1080 earlier today, pulled back, gave you a nice re-entry spot as the stock trades through 1121 right now. Bang. And for some of you wondering, well, what does Geo do, John? What does Geo do? Well, they're a real estate investment trust basically for uh, rehabilitation. So uh, if you're somebody who needs to go to a facility like that in North America, uh, in uh, South Africa, in Europe, this is, and Australia, this is one of the places that does exactly that. Let's take a look at our second of the three at three today. But before we do, if you'd like to learn more about getting started in options, well, check out marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. Then you could learn more about option basics, intermediate options, advanced option strategies. You do it at your own pace from your home right there on your computer or iPad. You could do that and attend all of our lectures and so forth for stock, options, futures, cryptocurrency, you can find out all about it at marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. Snap, also seeing some unusual activity today. And for those of you wondering, why does John look to the side when he is talking to us? It's because I'm trading over here and or looking at what was moving on my screen. With the stock beneath 21 at $20.87, we see people coming in speculatively buying August 21 calls. Um, so just beneath 21 and they're buying the 21 calls. Um, the stock is now higher by a little over 30 cents from where we cited it here. They were paying 99 cents, which is $99, up to $1.36 for these calls, which would be 136 bucks. And 
the reason uh, that it is hit today, because it is still down 5%, is because Microsoft is considering uh, acquiring TikTok. Uh, and if it does that, people view it as a real snap killer. We'll see. Um, snap is a $31 billion company, so I don't know if it's going away that fast. But um, 7,000 of these AUG 21 calls changed hands. Um, and like I say, from 99 cents up to uh, $1.36, those calls right now at the AUG 21 strike have traded 8,300. So another 1,300 more than this. And they're trading for a buck 18 right now. That's $118 a piece. There's a quick chart of Snap as you see it trading down from Friday, gapping lower into today because of the Microsoft acquisition potentially of TikTok. Let's get to the third of our three at three. We're going fast today, fast and furious, you might say. Chegg, C-H-G-G. -G. Now, this one's interesting for a host of reasons. Number one, I've been long the stock for a long time. What do they do? Education with textbooks, um, distance learning and so forth. So it's not just Zoom. These guys have textbooks and so forth within Chegg. So uh, C-H-G-G, -G, Chegg. Um, right now, looks like, there we go. Taking a look at our fills here. Um, direct to student learning platform, um, digital products and textbooks and so forth. Chegg Math solver and math solver problems and all this kind of fun stuff. Anyway, what we're looking at is that they bought some August 100 calls, bought a quick batch of them early this morning at 11.08 Central. Uh, and as they did that, uh, from $3 up to 405, I sat there thinking to myself, I'd rather buy a lower strike. The stock's 86, roughly. I'd rather buy a lower strike and sell a higher strike. So, if you take a look over here, you can see that the 90 calls have now traded 5,000 and the 100 calls are still around 4,000. There you see they were 2,200 earlier today. So on the right side of your screen, you'll see the 90s versus the 100s. The 90 calls are on the bottom and they're trading as of just a little bit ago for $7 or $6.90. Meanwhile, the 100 calls trading for a little over $4. So what would I do? What did I do? I bought the lower strike and sold the upper strike. By doing that, I'm putting myself in a bull call spread or a call vertical spread. Now, what does that do as far as to your risk? Well, it addresses V, which is uh, volatility or vega. Um, if volatility compresses and you just own the option, you're a loser. Um, if volatility expands and you just own the option, you're a winner. But that's a binary bet as far as volatility goes. Now, I'm putting on a directional trade based on unusual option activity above the market. So I'd rather not have the stock have to leap. I'd rather have the stock um, make some minor moves to the upside and I could profit mightily. So in this case, if I'm buying the 90s and selling the 100s, and as you see there, 90s have even traded more than the 100s. Um, I could be paying, let's say, $7 and selling them for $4.20. That is $2.80 for that spread between the one versus the other. And I could triple my money because I could take something that's trading for less than $3 and it could become the difference between those two strikes, which is $10. So I like my odds much better than that. I've also addressed T, which is time decay or theta, um, by doing this. So volatility, not really my problem anymore. Time, not really my problem anymore. Um, I'm in this trade and I'll probably be in it for several weeks. Chegg, C-H-G-G. By the way, the trade that I mentioned at the end of the program today in Microsoft, um, Mr. Softy MSFT, I mentioned they were buying upside calls. Oh my gosh, have they ever been buying upside calls in Microsoft? A ton of them. Um, and the stock is now 216 
as they've just flooded the market with buy, 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 buy at the 215, 220, 225, and 230 strikes in the short term and 240 strike out in January. Wow. All right. Chegg, one more. Take a look at that. That's the graph we see on Chegg today, trading 86.50. So, as I said, if you'd like to learn more about what we do, you can go to marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA. That's unusual option activity. If you go there, you'll see how you could subscribe to unusual option activity, if that's appropriate for you, because we do multiples of 10 trades a day, usually more like 20 trades a day. Now, you don't have to do all of them, of course. It's your money. You decide which ones you want to follow. But... Since we're doing so many trades, if you're somebody who's not spending time in front of the computer or in front of your iPhone and making trades, this might be a little much for you. If you're somebody who day trades all day, this is what you want. This is high test flip in and out trading, and it is unusual option activity forward slash UOA, Microsoft, um, Chegg, Snap. All of that, Geo, all of those were trades on the site today and many more. So go to marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA for multiple trades a day. Go there also for one trade a day. Go there also for one trade a week. We've got so many different uh, subscription products, folks, that you can subscribe to. Check them all out at marketrebellion.com. Thanks for joining me today, folks. I hope wherever you are, it's a great day. It's a great day here. And it's been a great day of trading. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow on the Halftime Report. Till then, unless you join us with uh, Bill Fleckenstein at 4 p.m. Eastern. Bang!